In today's guide, I'll be showing you how to upload a file to AWS S3 using JavaScript. So first of all, open up your code editor and start initializing your project. So let's say um, you type npm in it and dash y. Okay. The next thing that you like to do is to go to the documentations provided by AWS. I'm looking at AWS SDK for JavaScript version 3. Click on S3 service. You can see that it has provide you, provided you with the installations uh, command. I'm using npm, so I'm going to copy this, basically this entire thing, and paste it over here. Okay, for those of you who can't see, it's uh, npm install aws sdk uh, forward slash client uh, dash sdk uh, s3. So once you're done, just install the packages. Okay, you gotta give it a while. All right, so we have successfully installed the uh, packages. All right, um, before we can use any aws S, uh, sdk, the first thing we need to do is to load up our credentials. Okay, we need to load up our credentials. So this is the uh, documentation that shows us how to do it. Basically, it is telling us that uh, in order for us to be able to use the uh, SDK, we will need to load up um, this uh, credentials. Um, we are not going to be using uh, AWS session tokens, so we're just going to leave this out. We need the AWS access key ID as well as AWS secret access key. So let's copy this too. Go back to your project, create a dot env file in your dot env file create this um just copy and paste this two and paste it over here so we have aws access key uh, id as well as the uh, secret uh, access key now how are we going to get uh, these two values right so i'm just going to show you the uh, simplest way it may not be the most secure um, but it's good enough to uh, get started right so you gotta navigate to your AWS. So let's go to AWS. So you go to AWS in a search bar, search IAM. You see this IAM, click on it. You bring you to this page. Once you're in this page, you can just click on uh, users. Um, so how are we gonna go about doing it? So you can create a new users. This is one of the simpler way to do it. Uh, let me just call this, um, what should I call this? Uh, tutorial maybe okay what do I call my project okay AWS s3 upload file um, JavaScript tutorial all right um, but honestly you can give uh, any username to be honest so once we are done just click next um, let's see I do not want to add it to user um, let's see copy permissions uh okay i would like to attach the policies directly so for anyone who's going to be using this uh, access key later on i will need to grant them uh, s3 uh, full access right i'm gonna grant them a uh, s3 full access so just search over here in a search bar for permission policies uh, checked it when you checked it just click on next and click uh, create user so now that the user has been created we can click into the user and click on security credentials scroll down a little bit you can see that there's an option to um, create the access key now I do not have any access key which is why I zero so click on create access key um, for the use cases, uh, to be honest, you can put uh, anything. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let me just click on... Uh, let's choose one of the most suitable options. Maybe let me choose local code. It's going to give you some warning. Honestly, for now, you can just ignore it. Um, again, if you care a lot about security for now, um, perhaps you might want to read up more in terms of how you should manage the uh, AWS credentials but for the uh, purpose of these uh, demonstrations I'm just going to show you how to get things up uh, quick and fast and dirty right so once you're done click on confirmations and click on next description tag let me just say for testing for now and create the access key 
Now, you can see that I have two values, the access key as well as the secret access key. Let me just copy the access key, go back to my project and paste it in my .env. Okay, I'm going to copy the uh, secret access key as well, copy it and paste it uh, for the secret access key. Um, at the end, of, after this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to delete uh, this access key so nobody else can access it, right? Alright, so now that I have the access key as well as a secret access key, um, the, I'm actually good to go in terms of uh, being able to access the SDK. So to do that, let me just create a new file. Um, I'm going to call it app.js. In app.js, I will need to... Hmm, let us try something. Okay, we need to upload a file. So... To upload a file, we will need to use put, um, I think it's put object. Is it put object? I think it's put object command. All right, it's put object command. So you can search in this search bar, search for put object command, click on put object command. Uh, you scroll down a little bit, you can see an example syntax over here. All right. You can copy everything and paste it over here right um, you're not going to use everything you're not going to use everything we will we will only need those that are required right so let's search for those that are required okay basically the bucket as well as the key are the two uh, values uh, that are required I'm going to delete the rest as for the rest I'm going to delete it to keep things simple all right so i have these two required values and these are the rest of my boilerplate code all right so how are we gonna go about doing this um for the s3 client it takes in a config but for now we can just uh, leave it blank uh minimally we will need to be able to use the environment variables within the dot env so to do that, we will need to use another package, and that package is called um, .env, right? So just type uh, npm install uh, .env. Okay, now .env is installed. Um, what we want to do now is to import .env forward slash config, right? So when we have this, it allows us to use the uh, .env. Basically, all the variables within .env will be loaded up uh, for the use of this project. <coughs> all right. Um, we do not have to specify um, the access key or secret key for this uh, S3 client. Um, the SDK will automatically just grab it uh, from the environment uh, variables that has been loaded. All right. So we notice that we need two of these values one of it is the bucket as and the next one would be the key so just to make things clear the bucket is basically just the bucket name as for the key it's gonna be the path um, okay to put it simply it's actually the uh, file name but you actually need to have the path to the uh, file as well um, I think it's much easier for me to show an example so first thing we need to do is to create a bucket so let's navigate back to AWS S3 Let's search for S3. Go to S3. Okay, in S3, we're going to create a bucket. Uh, bucket type, let's set it as general purpose. For the bucket name, um, just make sure that you know you can write anything, but as long as your bucket name, uh, it has to be unique within the uh, global namespace. So for now, I'm just going to give it a ridiculous name. Uh, let me just call it product mail. <laughs> Product meow test bucket, right? Once I'm done, scroll down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna keep the default, which is ACL uh, disabled. This is a recommended. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna block all public access, right? Keep this as well. Bucket versioning, disable it. That's a default. Keep it. Uh, default inscription. Um, I'm gonna keep it as a default. And bucket key, I'm going to enable enable it as a default. Once I'm done, click create bucket. Alright, 
so you can see that um, the bucket has been created so let's give it a test click into the bucket let's upload um, any files right we can upload a text file to give it a try so let's try to upload a file to upload a file click on upload and then you can just drag and drop the file over here you can see that it allows you to do a drag and drop okay let me drag and drop a test file so I have a test.pdf over here once I'm done scroll down a little bit and click upload just wait for a moment for it to be uploaded so now you can see that the upload is successful let me close this so you can see that to, uh, test.pdf has been uploaded to the bucket that we just created now remember that we block all sorts of public access so if you click on the test.pdf right now you can see that there's an object URL you copy the object URL and just paste it um, maybe go to incognito and paste it you can see that um, access is denied right it doesn't allow any public access at all so uh, don't worry about it I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, create a temporary uh, link um, using a pre sign a URL that perhaps just going to open up uh, make the uh, uh, URL public for 5-10 minutes up to how you want to set it up is up to you um, I'm going to show you the step by step process on how to achieve it so now that the file um, is not accessed by public so we're going to uh, take some uh, steps and measures in order to make it uh, publicly accessible so let's just follow through for now to here so over here we're gonna in our code base we're gonna include a bucket name so for the bucket name you can go to your bucket and just copy this bucket name over here okay mine is product mail test bucket and just paste it over here now for the key for the key um, let's see how we're gonna do it um, for the key itself you can honestly name it anything let me just call this uh, test2.pdf right I'm gonna call it test2.pdf so in order for us to put the file into S3 bucket we will need to be able to load the file uh, read the file um, in our project so let's see how to do that so first of all I have added a test PDF file into the project so I call it test2.pdf so in test2 now given that test2.pdf is over here I would like to upload test2.pdf into S3 um, via code okay let me show you how to do it let me delete all these comments I'm gonna create a async function I'm gonna wrap this async function in a bracket and I'm gonna run this function like this right so this allows me to basically um, run the uh, await uh, uh, the async function and await it within it all right, I think I forgot something important. So let me just go back to the documentations. Um, I'm gonna need a way to load up the file in the uh, put command uh, object. So let's see. Ah, right. So this is the one. Um, the body. We need the uh, body key. So now that we have the body key, what are what are we gonna put inside over here? so remember that our objective is to upload the test2.pdf file to aws s3 so in order for us to be able to upload this file to s3 we'll first have to read this file in this code first so to do that we will need to import import fs from fs and using fs we're going to create a file stream fs dot um, create read stream and for the path we're gonna get the path to test two dot pdf copy relative path and paste it over here so now that we have a file stream we're gonna copy the file stream and paste it at the body all right now for the key itself right for now we're gonna specify it as test two dot pdf uh, I'm I'm going to show you uh, the difference later on um, 
between let's say a folder one test2.pdf and without it right so for now we're just gonna do it without the folder first now that we have everything set up let's um, console lock the response and see whether things are successful right let's save it um, note app dot js uh, cannot use import statement outside of a module all right of course because I'm using an import statement I'm using a dot js file extension which is not allowed I'm going to change it to app dot mjs right app dot mjs once I'm done app dot note app dot mjs to run it all right it seems like it's running no it's an error so we have an error it's uh status code 301 and it is telling us that we are attempting the bucket that i'm attempting to access must be addressed using a specified endpoint all right so it seems like uh, this is potentially a region issue so let me just double check uh, my region let us go to aws s3 in AWS S3, if I just click on this top right corner beside my name, I'm actually using US East 1, right? US East 1. Let's go back to my code. For my S3 client, I'm going to put in an object. Inside this object, specify the region US East 1. Is it East 1? Let's go back over here and double check us is one right us is one now that i specify the region it should work let's run the code again all right the status code now is a 200 so it means that it is successful let us go to aws s3 and double check right now we are in our bucket uh let's refresh once I refresh, I should be able to see that test2.pdf has successfully been uploaded over here. Alright, uh, let's click on test2.pdf just to make sure that the file is not corrupted or anything. Click download the file. Alright, now I've downloaded the file. Let's click on the file. You can see that this is the correct file that we have uploaded. All right, so that's how you can easily upload a file to S3 using JavaScript. Now, um, remember that I promised you to show you the difference between, let's say, um, if I change the key, let me just call it folder test1 and do it like this, okay? Folder test1 forward slash test2.pdf. Let's see what happened. Let me run the code. All right, it's successful. Let me come back over here, go back to the bucket. So you can see that a folder has been created for me, folder test1. If I to click on this, you can see that test2.pdf is uploaded over here. Alright, so I hope that this uh, very quick tutorial gives you a glimpse of uh, how you can quickly upload a file to AWS S3 um, using a JavaScript.